five, four, three, we have ignition. It's a new year with new lunar ambitions. Launching a new era in spaceflight to the moon and beyond. At the Kennedy Space Center, the latest private venture into space, hoping to make history, but falling just short. Pittsburgh-based Astrobotics inaugural lunar mission suffered a malfunction, fatal one, shortly after the launch. A critical failure and reminder of the unforgiving realities of getting back to the moon. They're trying to get as much data as they possibly can off of the spacecraft because the good news is both Astrobotic and NASA have upcoming lunar mission. A setback, yes, and NASA believes there will be more, but the mission remains clear. Return American boots to the lunar surface. We'd like to dedicate the first step of Apollo 17 to all those who made it possible. And liftoff of Artemis 1, we rise together back to the moon and beyond. Anything less than perfect can mean disaster and delays. We are adjusting our schedule to target Artemis II for September of 2025. We don't fly until it's ready. Safety is paramount. As NASA navigates roadblocks, China is surging forward. China's space agency is targeting the far side of the moon for a first-of-its-kind mission in early 2024. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson asked earlier this week, who is winning the space race? I do not have a concern that uh, China's going to land before us. Beyond the American-Chinese rivalry, space agencies from Europe, Russia, India, and Japan all have lunar missions in the works this year and beyond. But NASA believes the U.S. has a clear advantage, a high stakes, but not always perfect, private moon race driven by America's brightest minds. The goal, getting to space faster and cheaper than everyone else. Instead of spending maybe a billion dollars on a really high-tech, super-powered lander, they're doing these missions for $100 million, $200 million a pop. For now, the moon's surface remains mostly untouched by human ambitions. The question is no longer if humanity will return, but who will get there first? We leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return. With peace and hope for all mankind. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.